Hello, I'm Patricio and I'm from the show Park in Boston and welcome to Boston Foodie. Um, we're going to actually make some kimchi today. Kimchi is just um, the Korean version of a sauerkraut. It, it is made with um, apple cabbage and unlike regular sauerkraut, it is quite spicy. But the process is pretty much the same. It, you salt, you, you hack your, your cabbage up into pieces about, depending on how you like it, we use them, I don't know, about an inch in width and um, salt it pretty well and, and the salting helps the um, lactobacillus um, bacteria grow and, and it starts fermenting and it, it forms lactic acid. Once it's sort of wilty like this, and I started this about 2 o'clock in the afternoon when I chopped it up and I salted it, not too heavily, about a cup per head of nap cabbage. I used nap cabbage about that big. Um, and then it sits and then it becomes all wilty and then we rub it in this lovely chili paste. And this chili paste is a Korean chili paste that is mildly spicy, but because I like my food quite pungent and spicy, I add some habanero um, ch chili powder as well, which makes it a, a much more fury red and slightly more attractive, which to this I add grated bananas. Well, in this case, it's bananas because I didn't have any apples. But bananas, apples, anything, any sort of sweet fruit, because the the sugar helps with the fermentation process as well. I should also let you know this process. You really need to work in, in a really fairly sterile environment. You may want to make sure your hands really well washed. The container you're working you're working in it is is um, is clean because otherwise you end up with a little more noxious bacteria which might cause, cause it to mold or purify, putrefy, which is not what you want at all. Anyway, so this chili, this chili paste has, as I said, uh, two different types of chili, garlic, ginger, and fish sauce, just to make it slightly more pungent and, and give it a, I don't know, that je ne sais quoi that you need for fermented kimchi. Since I can't bury it in the ground, I, I cheat by adding fish sauce. Once you've got it all rubbed in really nice and well, you want to cover it up and with a plastic wrap, you want to press your plastic wrap all the way into the top so that the cabbage is not exposed to too much oxygen because that's another one of those things that will encourage it to ferment, I mean to spoil rather than ferment. And it sits in a cold refrigerator, cold part of a you know a mud room, wherever, for 24 hours, and then you're there, and voila, you have kimchi. That's it. I'm gonna keep rubbing.